Hello, testing. Hello to whoever's watching.
head priest stands across the room. Head priest Jaskier says, Take that key on the table. I forget which wing it opens. I'm As the door to hospital wing swings open, moist air, reminiscent of blood, folds in. I'm not sure how this one's gonna go. I usually either have a couple of hirelings or I'm in a better destiny, so. At the moment, I'm trying to finish my last off destiny, which is Magister. some of the sample the head priest spoke of. Nearby, a key that fell from its head lies So far, not going too bad. Sense making this twisted. That's right. So I, we ran epic last night and I did it to uh, purified weapons, I think. To, to, to get through some vampires and devils and stuff. With that, head priest Jaskier opens a door. So pure good instead. Eden. That's you probably not helping at the moment. The quarantine area smell Perrin Uth appears. The infection is far more advanced with him, and as a result, he is far stronger. It's always nice when auto attack doesn't start when you tell it to. That's a really good time compared to what my normal having some more three hirelings is. Usually over four. Wasn't too bad health wise. Although if I was in a better destiny, it would have gone should have gone much quicker.
As you enter Uth Lodge, you are greeted only by silence and a strange smell. A smell like a wind in Uth Lodge, some foul. There is some kind of wooden man beyond the root wall. Defeating his fellow defenders has drawn the wood wolf to ire. defend this strange wilderness any longer. A door slams shut. Was that a human form passing through it? Oh. Second wave. I forgot about that. A live, grey-clad figure flees deeper into the house. Friend or foe, you will likely have Something rustles in the deep foliage of the room. of the disturbance and does not seem pleased. Hello to whoever started watching. The air in the cellar is chilled and damp. That smell, the smell of corruption. Look sharp! To arms! Oh, it's so nice that the wolves get caught in bear traps. That's great. Well met! I had grown weary of knots but bark and leaves for company. You are aware... Does that mean the traps are set by... The bard instead of the owner of the house. In your songbook, I can see. Otherwise, you think the wolves would miss those traps. I, heard of our order? I like how he says, I am a harper. It speaks, sparks, or reminds me of, uh, I am an enchanter. I am a harper. Of course, that kind of sounds like uh, some Python-esque effect. Open the chest, please. Thank you. No. Four ten, pretty good time. All right, Destiny, that could be under four. Nice sunset, sunrise, whatever it is.
I wonder if now that I turn Bloom off, if the ice games will be more tolerable. It was oh so bright last time I ran that stuff, especially the ice skating. This is one of the best quests for atmosphere. The whole layout and decoration, textures, and everything in here. Really good for the theme. I am watching chat, so if anybody has any questions or just wants to say hi, feel free. I'm currently on Thalanus. This is where I normally play. Although I do have characters in the other servers, I just play better. I do ever have uh, cards to trade on other servers. If anybody still wants to do that for cards in Thalanus, obviously. have iconics on all the servers for the hundred favor dash to get the quick easy turbine points. Mm. Since I run this most days, I uh, have this pattern or path or whatever you want to call it down to just the basics, killing enough to get the walls open, skipping most of the rest, just so I don't get bogged down in fights when I don't need to fight. It just takes time for no reason. The Druid optional XP wouldn't be so bad if it weren't for the fact that they have 
pets, bears, and all that stuff around them. It just really bogs down those fights that you don't need to do. I'm just at the end of my uh, heart seed farming. So should probably be there today to where I need to be. Um, and then of course as soon as I finish capping my destruction, my last step of destiny, and I'll be free to start doing ETRs again. I've only done one so far. Haven't done any other ETRs. You may be getting double sound from these fights, I'm not sure. I should check that at some point. Wait, you are looking for Hall Fame, says the injured druid. He is not here. I had to reboot before starting this and finally got my sound working the way it's supposed to. Five twenty five, that was good too. Yeah, now some of the hirelings cuts off quite a bit of time. In some of these, at least. Once I don't need the uh, help in. Let's see where I am in seeds. 456. That's almost what I need. I think it's 462. That sounds right. Do the final one of the druid chain here. Looks like somebody else is watching now too. Hello. You are near to Druid's deep. The dying druid Oh, I keep forgetting sound skin. You must be a wolf of Still not used to having that available. To find the way. Hello, auto attack, thank you. I going to be playing and streaming for a good while today, and I don't want to get my hands all worn out after a couple hours of gripping controllers. In this case, I'm using a Naga Epic mouse and a, uh, what is it, G15 keypad, Logitech. I really don't like the term game board, it just doesn't sound right for me. It really is a partial mini keyboard for all intents and purposes. I don't understand why there's such a bunch of delay before the, she transforms. I don't see the transformation, so why have a blank screen? That doesn't make any sense to me. Get a lot more damage per spell. Not a lot more, get a little bit more damage per spell if I had. Since we just used to do it. I'm supposed to. Forcing them. The roots looking your way are now weak enough to break. Purified weapons isn't bad, it's just not as much damage, most of them. Into these, the pool, we don't really the need the good aligned. Obviously, I'll take it, but I don't really need it. An air pocket is visible in the tunnel. The other thing I need is the seal of the antique great axe. I need to go back to the Philar and Carnival and uh, do that. Run the snitch epic a couple more times. See if I can get that stupid thing to drop. Light shines brightly from above. You have passed through the tunnels to somewhere else. Okay, 
Please attack. Oh my gosh. Auto attack just doesn't work. Sounds like one of those caught the bear. That's appropriate. Can just wore off. Guess I was doing some good. I'm not afraid to pass this stupid spiders all over me. Lose the spider, and I would be free to pass. I wonder if there's any way to do that. Kill him so fast he doesn't summon the spider. First that bard, and now you. I don't know where your precious nobleman is. He can't have his staff back anyway. I've decided to keep it. But you, you have no place in my forest. You will die to feed my flowers. <laughs>
After a surprisingly long climb down the well, you find yourself in a cavernous expanse. You can see that the well water is fed by a fetid underground stream. The source of the poison water lies above and beyond this waterfall. You will need to find a way up in order to follow it. The cabin ahead looks different. You must be close to the surface once again. A yuan Ti priestess has raised a magical barrier, preventing you from passing further. yuan Ti appear, emerging from impossibly tight crevices in the wall. dies, the magical barrier blocking your way dissipates. Something seems wrong with the magic in this cave. The water is Another barrier can be seen up ahead. The Yuan Ti has gone great. You find yet another Yuan Ti barrier. You must be on the right track. Sickly scent assails you. 
The source of the poison water must be close. A large green dragon has made this cavern his lair. That must be the source of the Yuan Ti's poison. The great beast looks at you and speaks. The ones promised wealth for this, but they said no
Taking a short break. Be back soon.
All right, I'm back. Again, anybody wants to say hi, ask any questions, whatever, feel free. I'm watching chat while I'm playing. Just settling back in here. Oh, had to refill my water. Let the cats out and get a bit of a snack. Message out. <laughs> Excuse me. What was oh, I was going to twist? Uh, the fury that has sense weakness. Yeah, I was going to twist it so weakness back. It's generally more damage to everything, um, unless it has DR good. Uh, it's the one thing I don't have on all the time. I need to get the to completionist so I can put both purified weapons and sense weakness on at the same time, or some other combination that I find. Well, hey, that'll work. Yeah, let's do that. Hey, thanks. I'm on my way, and I'm also streaming. I normally run to the quest first, but in this case it's close. And there was only, oh, there's two slots. I thought there was only one. Wow, three monks, huh? They're probably most way through it by now. It's not active, so I'll just go casual. And get through it. I was thinking to run this solo anyway, but to have a group come up that's got it going on EH, then it's even better. And it's only two minutes active, so not a big deal. Considering they have to run through this anyway, and they're already in the quest itself. There's usually groups for this up pretty much constantly. Um, so I run this quite often. It's easy enough to solo on EN if you have to, you know, to fit it in in a day if there's no groups available. But there's so many groups for it in every day, it's unlikely you're going to find one. out if this chest is here that I can get it. Nope. It's not even here. That was rude. Hmm, this chest is here. Nope. That's what happens if you join quests after they start. On the other hand, this is what also happens. You get to walk through the quest without really needing to worry about anything. You may miss some of the uh, optional bonuses, but generally not a huge deal. Hello, lag. That was fun. 
Yeah, I'm caught up already, so. Right, too bad. Scorpions are at some already open the chest. Stand amidst a scene of terrible slaughter. The inevitable has already You see signs of ancient architecture in the halls ahead. Oh, that's a nice color nail on that one. Again, hello everyone who's watching. Thanks for watching. I'm watching chat, so if you want to say hi or ask questions, request something, feel free. entered a new section of the caves. In the distance, you hear a strange never heard of a beholder serving a drop or anyone else.
It's open. The clusters of giant mushrooms grow more sparse as you emerge from the beholder's domain. You can tell people that it's open, or you can just trigger the message that says as you pass the mushroom yeah. cluster or whatever it is. Shows a dramatic battleground for her last stand against the inevitable. Nice quick run. If they're doing something else. Mm. 
Maybe, maybe not. They didn't say they were going to do anything else, so I'll leave them to it for the moment. Okay, I have plenty of heart seeds. I can stop taking heart seeds as rewards. Which will be refreshing. Uh, ADQ. Eh. I don't really feel like doing that. I guess I should try just to get a torque, but eh. Something for a Wiz King or maybe a Von Five. Well, Von 1 it is then. Let's see if we do Von 1 I should cut the airship. Since it's right there. Stone skin here, and then it is through the second part to get the key and all that. This part generally goes well if you just run right through it. It's not too difficult. The second part when you have to go get the key and then come back up the same way it tends to get clogged with mobs making it a bit rougher to get through the gates of Faros Arena loom ahead guarded by a well-groomed bugbear and a host of trollish enforcers monstrous spectators pack the stands eager for the main event a few growl and curse as they catch sight of you. Oops.
I just recently got that invis cloak, so. It's nice to be able to use it in any quest. Not have to worry about, oh, do I have enough potions and all that junk? I'm still new to the whole invisiting through quests or pieces of quest things, so I don't always do it correctly. He almost just randomly got me. <laughs> that would have been lucky for him. Yeah, to skip fighting a lot of these guys and wasting time doing it. It's easier to just get past them. You still have plenty of guys to fight even before you get in the uh, arena. words etched above this gate. Ready room one. Inside, scarred and muscular... <laughs> Easy enough to solo, but I'm not really worried. As long as. Oh, you know what? I forgot to put my other hat on. I still have my acid hat from uh, water. That's fun. That's one with. Uh, Spell point boost on it, so I don't have as many heals as I would otherwise. Still shouldn't be an issue. This is not hard at all. So at this point. As usual, take the casters out first where you can. If you can take up their range first. Even if he disappears, then at least he's having a battle for a little bit while you kill other guys. And a nice meteor to end it. I'm not really a hardcore power player, but even I'm finding this stuff easy. At this point. Oh. This just means, you know, keep with it and keep upgrading your gear and stuff and you'll get there and be easy. Get through this. Of course, you know, intelligent choices in your build holds. Having things like a guild with a bunch of ship buffs helps. Having run this quest several times before helps. Grogan is stunned every time I do this quest. He never learns. At this point, I feel decent in a group on EH, but E still. Unless it's one of the easier ones, it's still out there. I 
I'd have to go through and really build out my gear. Which doesn't really appeal to me because I'm not going to be staying at 28 for very much longer. In fact, I'm probably going to get rid of most of the 28 gear I have. It's mostly just pick up stuff anyway that I got through requesting. So, there's really no big crafted or raid built name the drop or any of that stuff at this point. Meditate on my Thunderforged Great Axe. It's only a tier 1, but it's got that Meteoric Star Ruby, which helps a lot. At some point I'll probably upgrade it to higher tier and all that. At the moment, again, I'm not really looking to run it in game stuff. Not looking to run the big difficult. Raids and all that. Just finish off this destiny and go back to ETR. Alright, let's see. I need to go this way. Yeah, it's this one. Get the chest here. Go back and kill Gregon. Oh. Hey, how about that have called me? Even better. That's my stream got interrupted. It's not fun. The guard tower key little guard tower key for the other chest. No good stream if nobody can see it. I have to refresh my preview and see what's going on. So as far as I can tell on the screen, Shadowplay's telling me I'm streaming just fine.
Am I streaming or not? Come on, Twitch, tell me. Yes, it looks like I am. Okay. That was odd. My dashboard showed the stream being down, but as far as I could tell, it was still working. And problems connecting to chat, so. Looks like it's a happy, fun, weird streaming kind of thing day. Still no groups. Um, I don't know what else I want to do on here. do that for now. Uh, there's no epic groups at the moment that are open. Hmm. Well, let's see here. Welcome back to those that uh, had that weird stream issue that was going on. I'm not sure what happened. Seems to be okay now, though. Uh, any ideas what to do next? Let's see. What do I need? To, oh, you know what I need to do is do giant hold explorers. An epic. I haven't done that yet. That'd be something to do. Oh, before I forget, I need to change the combat volume. It's a. Let's try that. I want it to be audible, but not overwhelming. And not loud enough that the mic really picks it up, so you don't hear, have to hear it twice. Or double volume, whichever. Oh, what am I doing? Giant hold. I really don't know Giant Hold. I know a lot of people run it a lot, have run it a lot and uh, all that, but I was coving for most of the giant hold levels and that's where I got my levels from was the cove and I got booted out. I love that. So I really don't know giant hold very well at all. Oh, let's see, uh, what server? Kratzelens? I am on Thlanus. Go ahead and put it in chat so it's there. I have zero words of the ancient one. So I guess I'll just go wander giant hold for a bit and uh, see if I can't find some of them on my own before I look them up to see what I'm missing. Giant hold is pretty large. And as I've said, I don't know it very well, so it would probably do me good to wander around a little bit anyway. I need to remap that uh, key. I'm trying to use my uh, what would be backspace and tab, but I have it mapped to the joystick on my G15. And I end up getting 
stuck doing something else that I have mapped there, which I think is either forward or block, I don't remember. All the stuff I have mapped there, but it isn't working like I wanted it to. Actually, I have most of the keys ma mapped to non-combat stuff on there. I use the mouse for most of the combat stuff. I just like not having anything, but I can open a map real quick. And inventory and group panel and all that, just real quick without having to think about it. I know where my finger has to move. It just happens when I think about doing one of those. It'd probably do me better to get some uh, combat stuff going. Some more combat stuff, I should say. But it's not how I mapped right now. And relearning is a pain. Trying to do a little bit of damage. Go ahead and pop my flask. And welcome to whoever else started watching. I'm playing on Flanus. Feel free to say hi either in the chat or in game. The moment I'm just wandering on giant hold. See if I find any of the collectible stuff to get explore. I really don't know this. Hardly at all. I have a vague idea or how to get to some of the quests. Hmm. Lockdown isn't fun. Took refuge so that's the good like Atal. I was a guest of transparent swords. More like a caged bird in truth. But I did not mind. Much had taken place. I had much to think upon. One of the reasons I'm doing this is uh, Guildmate keeps wanting to come out here and do stuff and then we end up having to walk to everything because I don't have Explorer so I can't use the teleporter guy. So I keep saying I'm going to come out here and do the Explorers and I haven't been. I guess I might as well go this way.
still need to update my Twitch page to uh, make sure it points to YouTube and the uh, other site that I'm starting to post stream recaps and other DDO and stream related thoughts on I have another post that's partially written I need to clean up and post probably today I post about my DDO my debut on DDO stream uh, on Wednesday my stream is on Tuesday on DDO stream I host the official DDO stream on Tuesdays at 5 p.m. Eastern Time U.S. Cordovan is expanding the parameters. Hold on a second. The dog's trying to get something and is being annoying. What do you need? What'd you lose? Oh, I see. One of your chew chewed up toys. Well, go lay down and chew it. Oh, you want to get back up here and do it. Alright, there we go. Pets, they're wonderful. If you need some more stuff to do on a daily basis. Got several pets, rats, cats, dog, bearded dragon. I really thought I'd be finding more of these uh, collectibles faster than this. There's 29 for the whole area, which I guess it is a big area. Probably missing a bunch of them. Though. Maybe I will get a map up after all. Just to make this less tedious. I really don't like this area. <laughs> I mean, it's interesting and different. I'm not saying it's not, it's just personally this doesn't do much for me. Suddenly finding rares, they're fun. He is my level. for being my level. Which I can deal with. This is a mad place stone. to avoid. The greater here will drive you mad. And only death will bring peace.
Should probably make sure this fresh shrine is on my map. Might be needing that in a bit. over here and see what's going on. I see the terror of our history when I look upon this battlefield. Giants have done great evil. I missed the jumpy part. I feel it in my gut. I fear we well, will do evil again if we are not stopped. You dead or not? That was weird. Let's see. Streaming. Partially because I enjoy it. Um, I used to have a job teaching. Um, computer stuff and I enjoyed the helping others out with stuff that I was I knew a maze of ledges and a rock this land is steep and partially because I would like to convert to doing this uh, more often. And why? And maybe, maybe not make a living off of it, but bring in some extra cash. That would be nice. If nothing else, pay for like some upgrades. And such. Uh, it's Madstone, isn't it? So I need to go to a different part of the map. So helping out DDO stream is a good thing. Cause like this game, wanted to keep going. I did not like Neverwinter. Do not want that game to take the place of this one. 
in any way, shape, or form, because it doesn't really, at least not to me. And uh, help build my own channel. Hopefully build a community, people to chat with, play games with, interact, that sort of thing. would be nice. Get some things figured out on how to make everything work like I want it to. Let me get OBS set up for my own stream. So right, I've been using Shadow Play, which is as long as you have an NVIDIA card that's supported, is very easy to stream. Very easy to make recordings, very easy to stream. I love it for that. But uh, you can't stream other channels, which is a bit annoying. So it's sort of like an entry level, hey, here's how to get your first stream started, or your first recordings for YouTube, or wherever you put those. And uh, that's nice. But it, since it's pretty new and in beta, it doesn't have a full feature set like OBS does. Because really, it doesn't need much more to me be able to put a stream key in to stream to a different channel and some just basic text overlays and maybe graph image overlays would be about the only other things I'd want I've, I know I want to use. I mean, I know there's a bunch of fancy stuff that you can get with OBS and plugins and different things. That's cool. Not really interested in that at the moment. I'm more interested in the simple stuff that would just be handy like every time I stream I, a couple times I get the question of which, which server I'm on which is understandable it's a basic question should be answered I mean the, I should be able to put that on the screen and just here I'm on Alanis yeah, here's my character name put the DDO logo in that Cordovan sent me do that and hey there's a uh, thing up there how do you get up there for that is it a jump jump? Jump up here somewhere. No, maybe not on that side, maybe on their side. Yeah, that, oh, there it is, you can go that way. Should probably cocoon up. Seeing yeah. plan falls apart during its final moments. There's an unfortunate experience. I think I'm starting to realize that, you know, the more I stream consistently and chat on stream, even if there's nobody there, nobody's responding, that can only help when I save the stream and put on YouTube and, and see it in my archives and past broadcasts. That um, it helps people get a feel for what I'm actually be doing when there's more people and more interaction. So even though it feels like I'm talking to dead air, um, it serves a purpose and it's worth it. Go ahead and do that. Think of it as a, a live recording of a podcast. In that regard, I think. And I do need to also put up an email address to people to send questions and requests and such on for DDO stream that would be handy as well. That way if I do start to stream early then there's nobody there. At least have some content besides just running around doing whatever. It's asynchronous interaction. I've been watching tri Twitch streams for a little while, trying to get a feel for what I like and don't like um, as far as what different streamers do. There's schedule, their 
layout for different games, their interactivity. Ooh, I got stunned. That's not cool. And, uh, try to use that to inform what I'm doing. And basically be a stream that I would want to watch, so hopefully that brings in other people as well. I don't watch very many MMO streams. There's a couple of people who are DDO streaming, especially the other people in the community stream team that I've started watching. But other than that, I don't watch MMOs generally. Um, I don't watch like League of Legends or I've watched some Dota, but I've watched that in Dota to not Twitch. That's a really neat system that they have set up for that game. Or you can watch and listen to commentary right in game. That's cool. But I do watch um, people playing Borderlands, Borderlands 2, Borderlands pre sequel, Isaac, uh, especially this week, Isaac Rebirth, and then uh, Don't Starve. And I've watched um, Crypt of the Necro Dancer, and uh, I want to be the Boshi, and ADQ, and SDQ, SGDQ, sorry, the speedrunning communities. I've watched some of their streams. And through that, I've watched other games too. I've watched some Destiny and whatever else people are playing, but generally I've stuck to the couple people that are on when I have time to watch. Not playing something. Sometimes I have a stream on while I'm playing and not streaming. Maybe I don't have the sound on, maybe I'm just watching and not really listening or paying interacting, paying attention, but I have it there for something else to look at while I'm Waiting for something like waiting for a raid to start, or it was unfortunate. something like that. Um, my but you know, there's not not a lot of MMOs in my stream watching. But my path ahead is clear. A lot of that's because DDO isn't one of the MMOs that's streamed a lot. I will Comparatively, this you see people streaming others a lot, especially the newer ones. All who bring about suffering. Not really my interest. Hey, Crazy Trickster, 127. How you doing? Oh. So, yeah. Trying to get... Trying to wander my way into Explorers and Giant Hole, basically on Thalanus. Um, occasionally checking groups, see if there's something else I want to run. I don't remember which ways I've been and haven't been. I probably should go over that way. Is there anything else up here that I've missed? Doesn't look like it. This way, anyway. Again, I'm not really familiar with this area, so. Just telling it, taking it how it goes. No. Because that's the entrance to. No. Alright, let's go back the other way. I'm trying to fill in some of these spots on the map, I guess. And we'll see what we can find there. Be at peace. 
peace, my kin. For my actions will wipe away all our pain. I suppose some I probably should pay attention to the uh plot. That's cool. I have watched I think I watched last week's uh Haunted Halls uh Epic Elite takes three hour thing. I didn't catch it all. Um, I came in probably in the last hour of it. Um, I'm trying to make time to support and watch the other stream team members. So um, I did watch part of that. And it sounded like everybody was having a good time and not getting too frustrated with all the deaths and all that. So that's cool. Seems like a fun group. Uh, everybody seems to know each other really well and be teasing, playing, and having fun, and that's always nice. I know sometimes I find myself taking things too seriously, and it's good to just relax and do your best, but kind of let it happen. Pick yourself up and move on, or wait for somebody to carry your stone and get the completion. this way. Is there anything else to do this way if I got it all? So yeah, it was an enjoyable stream to watch. Um, I like watching high level play sometimes. Stuff that's people are grouped with all the good right ooh, hello. Rare all the good gear and all that and taking on some of that high level stuff that it'll be well probably before I get to considering it's taking me several years just to get to Epic I don't see it uh, being any small thing to get up to doing all those higher level ones plus like I haunted Halls eating star I still need to buy I'm uh I was VIP for a while but I bought most of the packs, so I play non-VIP most of the time. Hopefully the good uh, holiday deals that are rumored to be coming out will be uh, including that. Hey, there we go. The truth for one is Another leading these attacks, but like a coward, he fails to show up on the field of battle. Get that, uh, Perhaps Those last two things need just in time for the next one to come out. So. Not sure what that next one's going to be, but there's going to be more adventures. Another adventure pack, another free adventure, so that's nice. If, you, if anybody didn't watch the uh, weekly Cordovan Wednesday stream, he mentioned it saying that it may be as er on the money as early as next week. I don't generally play on Lamania. Um, I don't generally play anything like that, a preview or a beta. I have before, and I found it get I get frustrated because there's lots of character resets, and I don't like losing my progress, that sort of thing. Um, so I don't do that a lot. Let's see what's in chat here. <laughs> wow, a hundred nine minute. Elite the pit. Yeah, sometimes, especially if you go into it expecting, oh, this is just the pit. It'll take maybe half hour, uh, forty-five minutes if you know something goes wrong. But you know, not a big deal. And then it keeps going and going, and things keep going wrong and keep going wrong. Yeah, I've been in some of those. I have done the pit a couple times. Not too many. Um, 
I have done Crucible exactly once. But the pit I've done several times. I don't know it, but I have a basic understanding of what you're supposed to do. But getting from where to there is... Uh, I don't know the pit very well either, but I can probably get through it uh, with help. Solo, eh, maybe. Let's see, I have not been anywhere in here, so... Let's just use left-hand rule, then. What did I save against oh, another one of those guys? I do need to get fear immunity on this build. It's uh, frustrating. Yeah, those quests like the pit or crucible or some of the others like that. That if not everybody's on board or not everybody's understanding what to do, not paying attention. Um, yeah, they can take a while. I haven't written about this, but there's another thing that happens where somebody's not prepared. Um, now, 